So what I wanted to do is this lesson was it's a beginner lesson really, or uh, I guess some improvers. So I wanted to look at leading an ace and under leading from an ace. So this contract is one no trump by east, a weak no trump. And I'm just going to concentrate on the club suit. So let's say that we decide to lead the ace of clubs. Okay. So I'll lead the ace of clubs. So by leading the ace of clubs, it means that everyone else can play low cards. And what we've done by leading the ace of clubs is we've set up two club tricks by leading the ace of clubs. And let's just go back then. Let's this time, let's under lead a club. So let's play the two of clubs and let's play a low one. Pat plays the nine and then play the king. Okay, and then we play a club. Now, if you go up with the ace now, you're setting up the queen. So we're gonna play a low one. Put in the queen, and again, that's one. So this time, by under leading from an ace, we've given two club tricks, two tricks away in a suit. If we lead an ace, we've given two tricks. So let's look at something else. Let's not touch club trick suit. Let's play something else instead. So let's pretend we play the eight of diamonds instead. Play the jack, partner plays the queen. And now let's say that partner plays a club. So partner plays a club, this hand plays low. Now you shouldn't go up with the ace, okay? Because partner's playing the jack, he's probably got um, jack 10, nine, something like that. Well, he's got jack 10, nine here. Okay, so we're gonna play low and then his hand wins. And let's just say for argument's sake, this plays another diamond. Okay, just to get them in basically. And they play another club. This hand plays low, we play low, and then partner plays another club. And this time we bash the king with the ace. So that's what aces are for, for bashing kings. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really interested in the rest of the hand. Okay, so I was just looking at the club suit. So we can see there that by leading an ace, we can set up king and queen. By under leading an ace, we can give tricks away. So the best way to try to play this hand is let partner play or let the opposition play as well. So if we let the opposition play, let's have a look at that. Uh, let's exit that. So let's just play a card, um, any card. So let's play the queen of spades. So wins with the ace and let's say they play a club. Now don't go up with the ace. Now if I go up with the ace, I'm again setting up the king and queen. So let's just play a low one, okay. They're going with a queen. Okay, and then let's say they play a club back. Play the 10 and they think, oh, maybe this hand had the ace and didn't decide to cover with the queen. Play the king and then we kill that. Okay, so again, they only make one club trick. So that's all I'm looking at. I'm just looking at how many tricks they make in a particular suit, whether we play them or the opposition play them, or if we play the ace first, or if we under lead from an ace. So you can see there, under leading, under leading from an ace is quite often bad. Playing the ace is quite often bad. So the best way to play is play uh, from the other hand, okay, towards the ace. And that way we can avoid giving away two tricks. We can just give them one trick, okay, because they're always going to get one trick with king and queen. What we want to avoid is to give them two tricks in defense. So that's the first hand I wanted to look at. And the second hand I want to look at is this one. So South's open on no trump, and North has bid two spades, a weak takeout bid. Um, just showing spades and no interest in game or anything else. And it's now East to lead. So, you know, you're told quite often to lead fourth highest. So a lot of people will lead the two here. So what you shouldn't do against the suit contract is under lead um, an ace. The reason why you don't do that is for this particular example. So let's see it. 
um, I can play. So let's undelete an ace. Okay. Play low because we've got the queen here. Puts the nine in. Okay. And the queen pops up and wins a trick. And now north south have won a heart trick. And they're not going to lose a heart trick because now if this hand plays. So let's just continue. Let's say. Um, let's say I play a spade. Okay, let's say, argument's sake, I go in with a jack and I decide to duck it. Okay, and I think, ah, oh, right, I played my heart and this time I'm gonna play the ace. So now you play the ace. And now this hand roughs it, okay? And now you set up the king of hearts. Now in this particular deal, it doesn't really matter, okay? It, it doesn't really help um, them setting up the king because they haven't really got anything to throw it away on. Um, I mean, they can throw a diamond, but the thing is, the diamond, the double diamond finesse is working, okay? So it's not really helpful in that respect in terms of getting rid of a losing card, okay? But the point is, under leading the ace, you've given them a heart trick, okay? If we exit this, or if we have a look at Gib, okay? Hold on, let's. Uh, Rewind that again. Why is it not showing? Hmm, don't know why it isn't showing. It's interesting. Why is it not showing? Oh, don't seem to be working. Build. Right, anyway, so you can see quite clear that if you underlead the ace, that Queen of Hearts will win the trick. And uh, so it's not available. That's why something's gone wrong. Okay, so if you lead, underlead the two of hearts, you win with the queen and you're not going to lose a heart trick because any time this plays hearts, you can just simply rub it. Okay, so that is the reason why you don't underlead from an ace. There's a danger that um, a singleton will win the trick. And so generally speaking, try and avoid underleading from an ace or leading um, the ace, an unsupported ace size, uh, usually. If you've got something like ace, king, queen, then yeah, by, by all means, uh, lead off the ace. Okay, but when it's unsupported, generally speaking, what you can be doing, as I've shown in the previous little bit, is you can set up two tricks in a in a suit if they've got the king and the queen. Okay, so that was just a quick lesson on um, not only leading from an ace, leading from an ace, etc.